Hey everyone, Horseman here, and I'm bringing to you a video today uh, that is part of the beta, but it is not part of the Necromancer portion of this beta. Now, what am I showing you here, here right now? I am showing you Challengerous. Now, the, one of the main reasons why I'm doing this, I'm not going to lie, is because Blizzard did shut off Necromancer for the time being. I guess they're going to be doing some tweaks, so hopefully they're going to be bringing in some legendaries, some sets, and whatnot, in order to... Uh, help to enhance the testing uh, for the class. Uh, what we got here is a, like I said, the challenge rift where you assume the build and the equipment and everything of a character. You don't get a choice, and I'll show you how that works a little bit later. And it brings you to this challenge hub where you get to go to the soul mirror, get to see what kind of gear you have, Get to see what kind of build you have, what kind of what you have in the cubes, what you have in your uh, what kind of legendary rings you got, and it all in the challenge hub. You also get the opportunity to beat up on some big guys over here, and you know for single target, and you also get a chance to beat up on some uh, little dudes over here for uh, AOE and whatnot. Uh, you also have Edria here or Edira, Edria, whatever. Um, you can talk to her and uh, the soul mirror. You already saw what that does. So, And then, of course, the actual challenge of Blisk right there in the middle. Now, the goal is to finish the challenge rift in less time than the original person. So this is the leap build. I'm not too terribly familiar with it, but let's go ahead and give it a shot.
ready yet. Alright, so I ended up beating it within the time period. My original time to beat was 6 minutes and 25 seconds, and you're supposed to be able to get some type of cash afterwards, um, which I didn't get the last time I got through this, but this time I beat it in 4 minutes and 26 seconds, so not too terribly bad. Uh, after you're done, you talk to Adira. She says, great success. And I'm assuming that's when you're supposed to get your loot, so I'm going to go ahead and report that. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be what it's supposed to be doing right now. But, um, I guess that's it. Um, you can leave the game. But if you want, these challenge rifts are, Operation Authority in Progress, great. Is, if you go to Game Settings, and you have Campaign, Adventure, and Challenge Mode, and it shows you what you have here, and then you can also... Um, go with other players if you want to. So beyond that, I'm not entirely sure how this works um, as a whole. That was only a, a tier 39. But uh, there's not a whole lot of information just yet and how all of this is gonna gonna work. All right. Okay, so I guess that's it for right now. I mean, you got a chance to see a little bit of what the, the challenge wrists have to offer and how exactly they work. Um, if you do have any questions or comments or concerns or if you'd like for me to try to test something, just let me know. I'll do what I can, and I'm sure that as this beta goes on, we'll, I'll have the opportunity to test a, a whole lot more uh, in regards to how these challenge wrists work in greater detail. But if you like this video, please throw a like and subscribe for more as I continue my progress through the beta. And uh, I definitely thank you for watching. All right. Horseman out.